Hello everyone. Today is another great day to do some math. This is the Bridge for Math and we're doing a piecewise function example. Now it looks very intimidating. You remember the function notation? The letter here instead of an F is a P. Remember you can do any letter you want to represent a function. In this case P of input X is equal to three different possible relationships between P and your, your output. Now, the, when you have multiple pieces, hence the name piecewise function. In this case, the question is asking us to evaluate this piecewise function at three different inputs. Of course, they used a more complicated word because they're trying to throw you off, make you nervous, but keep your confidence. It says for different values of the independent variable. So let me remind you, when you see the letter X that's inside the parentheses, that input typically will be an X, will be called an independent variable. Now the value you get out will be called your Y value, the output, also known as a range. So there's lots of names that can get you a little scared, but don't be scared. I'll give you all the names to keep you going. Now, a lot of people say, oh, when in real life would I ever see like different relationships? This is just bogus. And I want to tell you, not this time. Math pushes your brain to think, but in this case, it's very real life. It's your salary schedule. Does it make sense that P could be pay rate, the dollars per hour you might earn? Would you get paid differently with different years of experience on the job? Absolutely. So let's look at this, see if it makes sense. And I encourage you to think of pay rate. P, your pay rate. In this case, it says your pay rate is going to equal nine, maybe nine dollars an hour if you have less than one, X is less than one. So look at X as years of experience maybe. It's, it's another relationship in life. The number of years on the job will, in, will determine your pay rate. Well, if you have less than one year of experience, you're kind of entry level. Might make nine dollars an hour. Well, notice that this has an underline where X is less than eight, but greater than or equal to one. The underline means equal to, greater than or equal to one. So when you hit your one year anniversary, have you ever been in a position? Often employers on your one year anniversary will give you a pay raise to celebrate, you know, finishing a year at the company. Now, look at this one. X is greater than or equal to the third condition. It's equal to 16.75 if the number of years of experience is eight or more years. Different pay rates, and let's see if we can answer the questions for these different input values. What is the function P evaluated at six, input six? Well, your input will determine which one of these pieces, which one of these pieces of the function we use. And you're only going to use one. So it's ask yourself, go down the list from top to bottom. Is six less than one? No. Is six less than eight? Yeah. And greater than or equal to one? Rock on. You can stop right there. That's going to be the one that's going to determine your pay rate to solve. So what you do is you plug in a six wherever you see an x in this piece of the function, 10 plus 0 0.5 or 1 half x. So I have this solution written up here. Notice you plug in the 6 wherever the x was. So it's 10 plus 0 0.5 or 1 half times 6 gives you 13. So after 6 years on the job, you might have $13 per hour, right? You get some pay increases. Let's see what the next one is. 0 0.5. We put the 0 up there so you don't think it's some number 5. The decimal sometimes can be overlooked. So 0 0.5 means 1 half. What is the value of the function p evaluated at 0 0.5? Well, do the same process. Where does the input 0 0.5 fit? Well, 0 0.5 clearly is less than 1. So you'd plug it into this piece of the function wherever you see an x. Now, this scares people, but if you don't see an x, just put the number. That will be your output. So of input 0 0.5, your output's going to be 9. Say, like $9 an hour. Think about it. Do you think that your entry-level salary doesn't matter if you've been working there seven months, eight months, nine months, two months, you're still making an entry level salary of nine dollars until you break into that one year past. The last question is to really drill this home, get some practice. 
P of 21. 21 could be the years of experience or input. Which one of these fits 21? You've probably seen it by now. It's the last case. 21 is greater than or equal to 8. Plug it in. If you see an x, there's no x here also. So what do you keep it as? The constant 16.75. So P of 21 is 16.75. Would you like this job? Well, $16.75 an hour is definitely a respectable wage. But I want you to think about this. If you understand salary schedules, and this is another perk of math, you can learn money and stuff and different things that are important to your life. What does it tell you? After working at the company for eight years, it doesn't matter how long you work there, you're not earning any more money. That would be called a dead end situation. You might want to reevaluate, keep working hard, keep taking some more math. This is Dr. B. Stay strong.